Imagine a Friday night. Some people are out with a big group of friends while others are at home with a good book. What's the difference? It all comes down to personality types. We're talking about introversion and extroversion. But remember, these aren't black and white categories. They exist on a spectrum, a sliding scale of sorts. So don't box yourself or others into rigid classifications. Today we dive into the science of personality, exploring the fascinating worlds of introverts and extroverts. So, what exactly are introverts and extroverts? Well, these terms describe two contrasting personality types that we all fall somewhere within. Introversion is characterized by a preference for quiet, less stimulating environments. Introverts often find solace in solitude, enjoying activities that allow them to dive deep into their thoughts or immerse themselves in a book or a hobby. They recharge their mental batteries by spending time alone, away from the hustle and bustle of social interactions. On the flip side, extroversion is characterized by a preference for social, active situations. Extroverts thrive in the company of others, finding energy in social gatherings and lively discussions. They enjoy being part of the action and the excitement, and they recharge by interacting with the world around them. Both introverts and extroverts bring unique strengths and perspectives to the table. Now that we know what introversion and extroversion mean, what's the science behind them? Believe it or not, our brains play a significant role in determining whether we lean towards introversion or extroversion. It's not just about whether we prefer quiet nights in or lively social events. There's a whole lot of science in the mix too. Let's dive into the fascinating world of neuroscience. You see, our brains are like bustling cities, with different areas responsible for different things. In the case of introverts and extroverts, the city hotspots are a little different. Introverts tend to have more activity in their frontal lobe, the part of the brain that's all about deep thinking and problem solving. This region is linked to actions that require focus, like reading, writing, and even daydreaming. It's why introverts often prefer activities that allow them to dive deep into their thoughts. On the other hand, extroverts have a lot more going on in areas associated with sensory processing. They're like the thrill seekers of the brain, always on the hunt for the next exciting stimulus. This is why extroverts often seek out high energy social environments. They thrive on the sensory input these situations provide. And it's not just about brain activity. Brain chemistry also plays a part. For instance, dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter, reacts differently in introverts and extroverts. Extroverts are more responsive to dopamine, which is released when we experience something exciting or rewarding. This is one of the reasons why they're often drawn to high stimulation environments. Introverts, on the other hand, are more sensitive to acetylcholine, another neurotransmitter that's associated with pleasure. But here's the catch. Acetylcholine is linked to activities that slow us down, like meditating or focusing on a single task. As you can see, our personality types are not just about liking or disliking social situations. They're deeply rooted in our biology. Each of us is wired in a unique way, and that's what makes us, well, us. Whether you're an introvert, extrovert, or somewhere in between, it's important to embrace your unique personality. Let's dive into the beauty of diversity in our personalities. In the grand tapestry of life, both introverted and extroverted traits hold immense value. Introverts, with their introspective nature, bring to the table a depth of thought and creativity. They thrive in tranquility, where they can ponder and produce ingenious ideas. On the other hand, Extroverts with their sociable spirit are known to be the life of the party. They find energy in bustling environments, sparking conversations, and creating connections. But remember, our world isn't just black and white, it's a spectrum of colors. Many of us might find ourselves somewhere in between, exhibiting traits of both introversion and extroversion depending on the context. This is the realm of the ambiverts those who can adapt and thrive in various social settings. So let's take a moment to appreciate the unique blend of traits that makes us who we are. Let's not just tolerate but celebrate the differences in our personalities. After all, it's our distinctive traits that add color and depth to our interactions and relationships. And as we navigate through our lives, let's be kind to ourselves and others. Let's embrace the diversity of personalities, for it is this diversity that makes our world so wonderfully vibrant. So, do you see yourself as an introvert, extrovert, or somewhere in between? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer, just different shades of human complexity.